Today we are going to continue making our post previews. So in the previous episode we created this. So when we click on our, on any of our posts we get the previews right here. What we want to end up in this episode is these buttons right here. So previous and next buttons. So to show the next post or the previous post. Before we begin, I just want to manipulate our API a little bit, so not uh, to show these small images right here, but I want to show the full images right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, in my functions.php file, copy this out, and then I'm going to call this one full. And then I'm just going to add it right here. So, and I'm going to call it full and uh, this is also going to be full okay and of course I forgot to make this full image right here so we already talked about this and now I'm just going to go into my index.php file and instead of this fi 300 by 180 I'm just going to write full okay and now if we refresh the page we should get be getting bigger images right here when we click as you can see so this looks much better okay let's get into this episode's topic so behind the scenes I already added uh, the buttons that we need so these are just a tags they are in our single preview uh, div and below post content you can put them anywhere you want because they're absolutely positioned the CSS is already written for them and uh, we only got those two buttons and if we look at our page we can see them right here they are not doing anything as of yet but they will be soon okay so before we begin uh, creating this let's just think of what we need to do when we click on these posts we get those posts right here and that is good so we already got the method called get the post with which we can display the posts in our preview area so all we need to do is actually pass the ID of the next post and the previous post uh, to these links right here actually to our get the post method but via these links right here and we would get the previous and next post so we would write something like v on click get the post and the ID of the next post also uh, the same thing for the previous post of course our API doesn't give us previous and next post right here but as we learned in the previous episodes we can manipulate the API so that it will give us uh, those values so this is what we are going to be doing right now in our functions.php uh, inside prepare rest function uh, we would do something like next prev just add a comment right here and then we would do something like next post equals to get adjacent post so this is the function of WordPress that will get the adjacent post to this one so it's going to get us the full post so we have to do false true so to get the next post you just do that you can read up on get adjacent post in uh, WordPress codex and now we have to get the ID of that post so next post equals next post ID okay and we come on and we do the same thing for previous and next posts okay except for true here you would do false and uh, we just change this next to be prev and I already added those to our API so data next post is equal to next post so this one here and the previous post is equal to prev post okay save this and let's just check out our API to see if we are getting next and previous posts 
so when we refresh it we can see below the categories right here that the next post has an ID of 23 and the previous post is null uh, in this case it is null because this is the first post so it doesn't have a previous post and this will work well for us as you will see okay so now we got that data all we need to do now is just paste those ID to the get the post function in our index.php file we just do v on click equals to get the post so we are calling uh, the method that we created in the previous episode and now we just do post zero dot next post okay if we save this go to our page refresh it and we click on this post as you can see we can now go to the next post okay let's just do the same thing for the previous post so I'm just going to copy this out and previous post okay refresh it to see if it works click on this post go there go back okay that's great uh, and now as you can see we got this blank space right here because the previous post of the first post is null just like we discussed it right here so it would be good if we don't have previous posts or next post to hide this and that's of course super easy to do with uh, Vue.js so we just do the if equals to so we are testing if there is a next post so we do post zero dot next post so if there is a next post then show this button also the same thing would apply to the previous post this post okay now if we go to our page and this is the first post I click on it as you can see I don't have a previous button right here so I can go back but I can go to the next post like this and now if I go back that post would disappear so if I keep clicking this till we get to the last post then actually we can just try it out go right here go to as you can see this is the next to the last post so when we click on it we don't have that button right here so as you can see it is pretty easy to do previous and next posts uh, with Vue.js and WordPress REST API okay so this is it for this video in the next video we are going to be creating uh, the tr transitions for our preview areas like you can see right here okay so thank you guys for watching please remember everything we did here is available for you on github the link will be in the description below uh, if you like the video please like it if you like the channel please subscribe to it uh, also you can follow me on facebook or on twitter if you want and that's about it thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next episode